All right, here's another reason not to use Google. So how many of you use Google? I'm curious to know. If you're, if you're watching this video right now, you're watching it on YouTube, which is a Google-owned company. Yes, Google owns. Google owns most of our life. It really does. Google is the overlord of our life. And I think that's why their, their parent company, the company that is above them, the main company, is called Alphabet. Think about it. What does that mean? What does that mean? A to Z. They want to run everything from A to Z in your life. They want to control everything from A to Z in your life. So here's, here's the thing. Why trust Google when they continuously lie, they continuously censor opposing views that do not fit their narrative and agenda? They're caught doing this. Nothing's ever done against them. Or if it is something, it's never never makes any sort of mainstream news. It's never really talked about. Why is it that so many people blindly trust the company, buy their products, and truly believe that it's a helpful, good thing? That is what I don't understand. And I'm and I'm curious, how many of you do? Now I'm I'm being hypocritical because I use Google service as well. I'm posting videos on YouTube. I have, you know, documents and data stored on Google servers. That's the cheapest platform for like ho uh, cloud hosting. Well, not cloud hosting, just, you know, backups and data and that sort of stuff. I wish I there was another pl platform that was as cheap as Google. I would move all my stuff over there because of just all the, the especially the recent actions that Google has done. I cannot absolutely stand it anymore. I cannot. Um, but here I am paying them money to, to store files and monitor all of my, my data. Not that I have anything to hide, mind you, okay? But it's the secretiveness of what they do and how they use that information. And if you don't understand what I mean, well, I mean, let's take a look back when the, I think it was called the Google Home came out. You know, the thing that, that you talk to and go, hey, Google, they're probably listening to me just, just when I said that. That records everything that, that you say, and they will use that to advertise to you and use that, you know, in other ways. But here is what was really concerning to me, and I just, I just made a post about this on Twitter, if you want to see the exact article on The Verge, which was, it was a recommended article, and I don't, I have all these articles and stuff block with certain keywords related to this whole thing going on now. You know that, so I don't see it. It was on my phone that I saw it, which I can't do that. I can't apply those filters there. Let me tell you, Google is releasing location data of where you are to the proper people and the government to make sure people are following the orders of the government of staying at home. Hmm. Why would they do that? Hmm. Why would they do that? It's for stricter laws to be enforced by people who disobey. You walk outside of your house, you could, you could be threatened with jail time or being shot because you're not following orders. Is this not Ch China to you? I mean, I, I don't know how many times I got to say it. This is this is China. We live in China if it goes that, that way where the government has all control over everything that you do and see. And I think that we're already halfway there at least because of everyone uses Google. Google blocks and censors things. But at the same time, we, we still have plenty of, of freedom as well in certain, in certain aspects as, as, as opposed to China. But if we keep heading down this road of all the secretiveness of all of the, these these, you know, lies that, that Google does behind our back without us even knowing. How many people knew that? How many people knew that if you're going out somewhere, Google's tracking you and they're submitting it to, you know, the proper people to monitor how many people are following the rules? And then in the cities that people aren't following the rules, what is the government going, going to do? So it's Google who's directly responsible then for this type of absolute nonsense. For these, for your rights being taken away, they are directly responsible because 
you have the right to do whatever you want. That is, that is what I believe. You don't have to follow the rules of, you know, anything. I mean, there are consequences for certain things that you do, absolutely. But for something that's going on today, for something that has not been shown, you know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that I think it's very, 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 j just, just be very leery of what Google is doing right now in this moment and what they may do in the future as a result. Mm. Okay? They're using this issue going on in the world to monitor and track people and get the government authorities involved too change things. And it's the same with Facebook. Facebook, um, I think on this article, it mentions Facebook's doing the same thing as well. Again, how many of you are using Facebook? Get off Facebook. Get off Facebook. Get off Google. Get off all that because they're, they're, they track and monitor. Now, some people say, L, you're being paranoid. L, you're delusional. Here's the thing. Paranoia to me comes when you are fearful of something, when you are scared of something, okay? I am not scared of this. They can do all these sorts of things. If they enforce any sort of rule that, that goes against my right to be free, I will break those rules. And if, you want, if they want to send me to jail, go right ahead. If that's what they want to do. If they want to say, close up everything, can't leave your house, I will make it an effort to break that rule on every occasion that I possibly can because I am not following those ridiculous guidelines at all. It's a shame that I'm not someone who is very extroverted and likes to go out in general. I'm someone who does like to stay home, so this doesn't really impact me. But if I was, I would tell you right now, I would be going out to every single place that is open as much as I possibly could because it is ridiculous. And I will make sure that Google tracks all of that because why and why not? Why not? So I just find it very, it's very, very bad of what Google is doing with this. And we have to be very leery of what that could mean in the future. Right now, if nothing is, is done and it's just data and information being released and the authorities are not getting involved to, you know, stop people from leaving their homes, then, then, that's, then that's more on the acceptable range. But when it gets to the point where Google's directly involved in telling the authorities of your location whereabouts, and there's police going outside of your house, monitoring, make sure everyone is in, in your home, knocking on, on your door, asking, you know, these ridiculous questions that are violate your, your rights, you don't have to answer those, those questions. Then that is where it is a cause for concern. And we will see what, what the future brings, because this is something that it will change every, everything. Everything will be changed. And now that people are aware that Google is tracking all this stuff, hopefully people will realize, get off Google. Just stop using Google. I will, I will look for other alternatives to, to store stuff and, and, and that sort of stuff, because this is kind of the final straw for, uh, for me. I, mean, I didn't really care if, if Google monitored all the documents that I, that I have and all the files that I have, because I don't have anything that is, that, is, that is bad. But something like this, I can't stand for it anymore. I will not stand for that. And it is, hopefully, you can understand what this, what, what this is going to entail and why it is so bad for people's privacy and people's rights. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. I was going to make another video today, but I saw this and I posted about it. And I'm just like, it's very disturbing. It's very disturbing. It just makes me really upset even. Not paranoid, not delusional. This is all stuff that's happening. Face the reality of the situation. It's just upsetting. Because we see people's rights being taken away right before their eyes and they are not even aware of it and they're accepting it. They accept it. Why would anyone accept their rights being taken away? I don't know. Because they think it's for a positive cause when in actuality it's really not. 
if, at the deepest level, this is not about a positive cause. It's about something very sinister and, and evil. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end it there. Just it made me feel very emotional, even too. Because it's let me compose myself here. Because it's just very wrong. And people can't see that. All right. So, yep. Just to think about it. Hopefully, it helps in some way. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. If it helps you, if you don't agree, if you agree, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just, I'm going to head off here now. Hopefully you are doing well. Hopefully you're doing fantastic today. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. There's hopefully something much more positive, which I, I had an idea of what I want to talk about today, but... I saw this and I had to talk about it because it's just, it's so upsetting. Okay, you take care now. Bye-bye.